All right, welcome back, Sports Banner 38 fans. Coach Carroll here, and this is the final video of my 2018 college football preview. Uh, just a note, I will be creating a playlist to put all of these videos in, so you'll be able to access uh, all these uh, conferences that I've done. I uh, just finished up the SEC conference, and now here I am, and I'm going to go ahead and do uh, my picks for the playoffs and the national champion, uh, who uh, the playoff matchup winners and the playoff championship winner, who I believe is going to win. Um, and just a quick note, guys, I'm doing this. I'm picking who, based on my picks on who wins the conferences and records and all those things, I'm picking what I believe the committee will do. I'm not picking what I would necessarily, who I would necessarily put in the playoffs. So, based on what I've seen the committee do, the last three or four years, however many years we've had a playoff, is what I think they're going to do here. Okay, so... Um, it's not knocking any team or conference or this or that. This is what I believe the committee is going to do based on what I have seen them do in the past. Um, so without further further ado, this video is not going to be quite as long because they're not near as much to cover. It's just four teams. Uh, just going to give slight analysis on each team, and uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, number one team in the playoffs, in my opinion, will be Clemson. They will have the number one seed. Uh, regardless of whether the quarterback is Trevor Lawrence or Kelly Bryant. I should have said it backwards, actually, whether it's Kelly Bryant or Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence is the freshman who could come in and pretty much be the savior for Clemson football for the next few years, although I don't believe they need a savior necessarily because uh, Dabo Sweeney has got Clemson just uh, thumping right now. and. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to slow down anytime soon. They've got talent just pouring in, in uh, into that school and that team, and uh, they're going to be good for years to come. I'm afraid. Uh, moving on, at number two, we will have the SEC champion Georgia Bulldogs coming off a tight game against Alabama. Uh, they'll be undefeated. Uh, that's pretty much going to conclude the undefeated teams that have made it into the uh, the college football playoff um, you know and that's that's just the way I got it set up uh, I believe they're gonna be so so good this year uh, by the end of the season they're gonna be really good um, so Georgia will fill in that number two spot uh, with Jake Fromm and DeAndre Swift uh, they're gonna be a, a it's going to be a good team. It's going to be a good playoff once again. I feel like the playoffs have delivered. Uh, if anything, I would like to see maybe an eight-team playoff. I think that would be better, or a six-team at the least. And I'm sure that's going to happen in time. But for now, I, I like this a lot better than just the BCS. The only thing I don't like about it is the committee, 12 people picking four teams. It, it, you know, it's not an election. Uh, I feel like I, I wish it could be more of, of an earned team. But... You know, we'll talk about this later in another video. I don't want to uh, uh, digress from what we're trying to do here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to number three. Now, this is kind of a long shot. This is uh, this is this is the team I'm going out on a limb with. Uh, I know a buddy of mine, Mark, knows exactly what I'm about to say. He probably don't agree with it. Actually, I know he don't. He told me, but um, I believe Harbaugh in Michigan will sneak in as Big Ten champions at 12-1. and one. Uh, Lone loss, I believe I have them losing to Michigan State, on the road to Michigan State. But uh, they'll come back and they'll beat Ohio State. They'll go to the Big Ten championship where they uh, will defeat Wisconsin. And that will be enough to land them at number three in the um, college football playoff. Uh, so that we already got one matchup. We've got Georgia at Michigan, or not not at Michigan, but we got Georgia and Michigan in one of the playoff games, the first playoff game. Um, the two and three seed will play each other. But Michigan with Shea Patterson at quarterback, they're going to go from probably nine touchdown passes last year, which uh, I believe is the lowest that they've had 
since like 1978 or 1979 where they were a full-blown option team. So, you know, um, they'll go from nine to, to at least 20. I'm thinking more like 25 touchdowns. I, th I believe he'll have about 25 touchdowns, touchdown passes. Uh, a lot of people are, are talking about how Michigan is a run-first team and they don't do all this other stuff. Uh, Jim Harbaugh is a good coach. He's a smart coach, even though his record may not reflect it yet at Michigan. I feel like the one thing he's been missing is a quarterback. So I believe Shea Patterson will be the answer to that uh, problem. And um, like I said, I believe Harbaugh is going to give him a little bit of flexibility, uh, being able to scramble around, do what he does, uh, run a little bit for some yards off of scrambles. Um, and, and I believe the, the play will be a little more reckless than what they're used to, but the extra risk is going to actually benefit them, and uh, it will get them through pretty pretty tough schedule. Uh, to come out of that schedule with one loss is pretty big, and I believe the committee will agree with that, and uh, I believe that's what gets them ahead of the team at number four. Um, and gets them at number three, basically. Um, I believe they're going to be able to run the ball because the the pass will be opened up a little more with uh, Shea Patterson throwing, and uh, they're going to be tough on defense. They got Devin Bush in the middle of that defense, who is a who who is a beast at linebacker. Let's just call it what it is. He's gonna he's gonna have a big year for the uh, uh, before the for the boys in Mays and uh, Blue and Mays, or however you say it. Anyway. Michigan to me is, is is the surprise team this year for the most part. Uh, they'll go up against Georgia in uh, the playoffs, the two and three seed. Uh, number four, uh, I know people aren't going to like it. I don't like it myself, but if I'm being honest, this is what I believe the committee is going to do. Uh, I know some of the teams who maybe be might be in this this discussion. Um, you could say the Pac-12 champ, but having lost, I, I believe I, I had USC losing two or three games. If Stanford had won that and they could got there with two, they could have had uh, an argument. Um, TCU, I believe I had you, I got one in the Big 12. Uh, they could get there with maybe two losses. Uh, I do not believe the committee is going to put a two two loss Big 12 or Pac-12 champion into the college football playoff. I don't see any of the mid-majors getting in. Even if they finish undefeated, I don't think that'll matter. They'll basically uh, eliminate them because of their schedule. Uh, like it or not, Alabama is going to slip in at that four spot. And I know people, oh, two SEC teams, this and that. Well, it is what it is. Uh, I know their, their schedule wasn't the toughest schedule, but uh, they did beat a good Auburn team. Uh, they lost to a really good Georgia team, so they've got a good loss and a good win, and it's Alabama. They get in the playoffs off of street, street cred. Let's just, just call it what it is. But make no mistake, they are a good team. They are deserving to be there, so um, I feel like they're deserving to be there if, if I'm being objective about it, uh, even if I don't want them there. They're a good team, and they're always a good team. And as long as Nick Saban's there, they're probably going to always be a good team. So, uh, you know, Tua will be at quarterback. And, you know, in the playoffs is where this Kelly Bryant, uh, Trevor Lawrence thing comes into play. Um, I believe Clemson, we're going to go ahead and, and, and I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, I ain't put any scores down. I ain't even put the scores down on my, my little card yet. So, um, Clemson, as the top team, I believe. I believe they're going to be a little too much on defense for Bama. I, I feel like they're going to pressure Tua quite a bit. And uh, they're going to be able to be flexible enough to defeat Alabama. And it's going to be one of those crazy games. And... Uh, I'm going to say 34 to 31. I'm going to pick Clemson. I feel like the defense eventually will be a difference, be the difference. That could be an overtime score. I'm not going to call overtime on it.
but uh, it could be an overtime score because I, I'm kind of leaning more towards a, a, a game in the 20s. Um, then we've got Georgia and Michigan. And the honeymoon is over for Michigan. Uh, good team. They're a great team. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I feel like Georgia is going to be a little bit too strong for them, especially their defense. I feel like they will be able to bottle up Shea Patterson and they will minimize his effectiveness. But their defense is not going to be too bad either. I, I feel like they're going to play Georgia tough defensively. So I believe Georgia wins this game. 24 to 10. Maybe maybe Michigan gets another third. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I meant 14. I don't know why I said 10. I'm going to say 24 to 14. Uh, Georgia wins that semifinal 24-14, which gives us a national championship game of Clemson and Georgia, which I think makes for a fantastic championship game. And this, to me, is an either-or. Um, nothing at all against Kelly Bryant. I think he's a good college quarterback. But I think it goes back to the same reason Tua is going to start over Hurts. I believe that... Um, I believe that uh, Joey Lawrence... Or not Joey. Joey freaking Lawrence. Are you kidding me? Trevor Lawrence, um, he adds that other element of throwing the ball... Uh, much better, and, and I feel like uh, I feel like uh, that is going to be the deciding factor. If Trevor Lawrence is starting this game, I like their chances a lot better, and I'm, I may have even pick them, but I don't know that. And 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 it's like I said, um, um, I believe that. Davo Sweeney, he's loyal to his players, which is not a bad thing. Uh, but I believe that could cost them the national championship game. I, I think Georgia's defense is going to be the best they've seen. I believe Georgia could could very well have the best defense in the country this year, uh, with the exception of Clemson. I mean, Clemson's defense might be better, but in this particular game, I feel like if Kelly Bryan is starting and uh, Jake Fromm is starting, I'm going to pick Georgia to win this game. I, I don't even know what score to pick. I I don't see a lot of points scored in this game. It's two very talented teams. But uh, I'm going to say Georgia 20, uh, 24, Clemson 17. Okay, 24-17, I got Georgia winning the national championship. Because uh, I believe Kelly Bryant's going to be the quarterback. You put Trevor Lawrence in there, and I don't know. I don't know. And uh, the only reason I say this is, is, you know, Trevor Lawrence hasn't proved anything. I agree. You know, he hasn't done anything in college just yet. But um, I'm hearing he's... He's looked the better of the two in in uh, practice so far, and uh, come game time that may not be the case. But he seems like a kid that's ready to to go out there in limelight and just tear it up. So, um, you know, this is interesting. It's something to keep an eye on. Will Trevor Lawrence eventually start at Clemson? Because I feel like they can win every game on their schedule all the way to the national championship with Kelly Bryant. So. We may have a situation where Trevor Lawrence just never gets the opportunity. Maybe Dabo Sweeney is put in the same situation that uh, Nick Saban was last year, where Georgia is pretty much taking care of business at the half, and uh, he's hearing the echoes of, should I put Trevor Lawrence in to start the second half? And we'll see, is he the same caliber of coach as Nick Saban? You know, is he the same guy that will make that call? Uh, ironically enough, the national championship could very well come down to that exact same scenario next year, which is wonderful for us fans because uh, that was a great game. I enjoyed watching that game. Uh, anytime we have a national championship, if my team is not in it, 
All I can hope for is a good game. That's all I want to see as a college football fan. I want to see good competition. And I believe the playoffs this year will absolutely deliver on a, a good competition. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. That's going to conclude my college football playoff. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all of the above. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Tell me what you would have done differently or how you would have picked it differently. Uh, I absolutely want to hear that. And uh, thanks once again, guys, and everybody have a wonderful weekend. Uh, Sports Banner 38 and Coach Carroll is out.